Tony R, two sweepers. Hey, how you doing? And uh, we've got Nolan Henke. Wow, this is cool. Okay, left-hand side, we've got uh, great balance. 50-50 lead side, 47-53 at address. And when this uh, white, uh, when the when the COP flips to a positive, we're in transition. So right right about there, and 85% uh, of his weights on his trail side. And then um, in the next frame or two, we're going to see the uh, lines converge to peak velocity. So now um, peak velocity is going to be. It, it, it's actually in between frames here, so it goes right. It's in the next sort of semi-frame, and if you adjust this 2.4 right here, if you make this to 1.2 or 1.4, and you do that by going to the icon in the top left-hand corner of the uh, shift program and just click at the settings and go to uh, make uh, time longer or shorter and make it shorter. When you make it shorter than all the data, um, I mean, there's only a, a, a certain amount, a finite amount of data that's within this time in this velocity chart, and then it's presented on the uh, that data is transferred over into the COP tray. So you just want to make um, the length of time shorter. 1.2, 1.4 is fine. Release factor is 149, and Nolan's got a he would use a fairly heavy tip shaft, um, and then just post it goes right through it nice beautiful right right to see at the end but his balance throughout his swing is really good it's a little bit too much weight on his right toe but you know that's why it's a fish hook okay on the right hand side um it's not really fish hook it's a lateral trace more of a lateral trace so same address, 50-50, weight goes back to the trail side. And you see this, he goes from his heel to his toe, 80%, 84% of the weight in transition. And uh, just a little micro move to his, to his toe there. You can see a little bubble right there. And when you make this 1.2, you won't see the, you won't see it. Uh, the frames skip as much because uh, there'll be less data in each frame. Very likely he would have hit that a little bit more right because the weight's moving to the lead toe prior to impact. And when it does, that's uh, it, uh, well, this is a pretty good video as well synced here, really. Look how well synced that video is on your webcam. That's, what are you using for a webcam? That's great. So, anyways, this is a cool look at uh, Nolan Henke. And Nolan's a, a champion's winner. And, uh, uh, and obviously, an unbelievable PJ Curry's ad. Great capture. Um, thanks, Tony. We really appreciate it. Interesting. So, what did I learn here? That uh, don't play golf against Nolan unless he gives you lots of strokes. And, uh, the only thing that's I find a little bit interesting to maybe look at is these multiple peaks prior to impact, and that's really the setting and resetting of the angle prior to impact. Uh, but, but, I mean, these are just great swings. Great to capture these. And, and they're just another example of how that the traces, as you take them from heel to toe, scattered, and uh, or other, like this isn't really a fish hook. This is really a lateral trace, and that's what we're seeing at the professional level. And then as the lines get closer and closer together, they're more on plane. So this is a great trace, a great way to look, a great tool to work with. Thanks so much again, Tony. Appreciate it. Hashimoto, body track.